Let's chip you here with notebook check and without any messing around, I want to get straight to the point. This is a very expensive MSI GT83 VR, very high-end gaming focus, in fact, VR focus laptop. 18.4 inch screen, 32 gigs of hard drive inside, we've got a terabyte storage, we've got RAID SSD inside, um, a full HD screen, and funny enough, this isn't the full high-end version of this because there's a 5K version of this, 5,000 euros. This one has got the dual, the SLI GTX 1070 graphics cards in a dual, so that's in SLI configuration. The high-end version has uh, the GTX 1080 inside, dual configuration, and 64 gigs of RAM. That's pretty much about the only difference between this and the extremely high-end version of this. This version, the 6RE, I think it is, scored 87% in our test, which is a really good score. And I want to take you just briefly around to give you some idea of some of the features in here. One of them, I want to start right here, is with this cherry design backlit, fully mechanical keyboard. It really is something uh, special if you're interested in that sort of a... Uh, keyboard feel, which I, I remember from back in the 80s, to be honest. Um, it's quite different to get used to it, but um, for those that are into gaming and really long-term typing and uh, that sort of stuff, then maybe this is really interesting for you. We've got a, a numeric touchpad to the right, which acts as a function touchpad when you've got the uh, function button pressed on the right here. And we've got a whole range of ports including output ports on the back, display port, HDMI, so really a very high-end gaming and video editing focused uh, laptop. Now, uh, one of the things we did when we had the uh, GT83 was did uh, some VR testing. You'll see that in another video. Have a look up here if you're watching on YouTube. Click that video up there and it'll take you to our VR test. Uh, we took a few demos, um, the uh, Funhouse demo and the Star Wars demo and a pinata demo and uh, really had a lot of fun with our room size VR here in the studio. It was really a lot of fun, very easy to set up and pretty uh, glitch free in terms of frame rates and, and uh, having to do any sort of setup at all. It just worked out of the box. Um, so let me give you a few of the test results now for the GT83. Uh, performance obviously is going to be right up there. Here's some Graphics, graphics performance on the feet, on 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 the uh, on the screen here for you, and uh, the SSD obviously super fast. There's a lot of storage there. Accessing the back to change the RAM and the SSD is a bit difficult. Now here's if you click through here, there's a video of taking the back off and a quick look around the inside. It's not easy to get that back off. You really need to work it from one side, lift it up and hinge it over and watch out for the cable that's connected to, I think it's an optical uh, audio port there and uh, you need to be really careful of that when you take it apart. It's not the easiest to take apart. The GT73 is much easier to take the back off and do the upgrades on. But um, there's a, a, a quick look at uh, the internals on that one. Let's quickly take a look at the ports. Uh, obviously uh, there's a big selection of ports. We've got just two USB ports uh, on this side and on the other side, wow, it's three and a half kilos, is really, really tough to move around. We've got a uh, SD card reader that's relatively fast in terms of uh, performance. There's the uh, digital audio output there, three more USB 3 ports. Uh, I think this, uh, the, it is a Toslink, I think, and this is the optical audio output. There's standard analog audio output there and uh, microphone input. On the back we've got display port. I want to show you the power adapter for this and you probably won't have seen anything like this uh, before. We have two 230 watt power supplies going into an adapter unit which feeds 560 watts into the back of the device. The high-end version has an even bigger power supply, 330 watts per piece. So that gives you an idea of the maximum sort of power usage that you're going to get when you're really pushing this thing. The color accuracy was really, really good out of the box. Contrast, not so good. 775 to 1 is not uh, the best in the class at the moment. Uh, sRGB coverage up to around 95%. It's getting close to that 100% sRGB coverage that you really would expect uh, from a device in this class. PWM, so flickering, pulse width modulation flickering, 
was detected. Have a look at the full review though for a really deep dive into all the screen specifications. If you're into gaming or um, photo, uh, sorry, video editing, you want to take a look at that. In fact, don't forget to take a look at the review. There is a ton of test results in there, including very detailed uh, measurements of the audio output from the built-in speakers, and uh, also details on more details on power usage, on um, CPU performance, and the turbo boosting as well. That's really important. Take a look at the full review for that. So that then is the MSI GT83 VR 6RE version with the dual GTX 1070 inside, 32 gigs of RAM, costing way over 3.5K, but it's not the high-end version. Scored 87% in our test, so please check it out. If you're thinking of buying a device uh, in this sort of price range, you definitely need to read the full review. Lots more test results in there, lots more perspective from our reviewers. Um, on the downsides, of course, expensive, of course, heavy. It takes a lot of power as well. It can get noisy under turbo. But there's a lot to like about this. If you're into gaming, got your headphones on, you won't worry about that noise. And if you're just sitting down on a desk, you won't worry about portability as well, or the battery life, because you're going to need the power plugged in anyway. If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. More videos coming up. My name's Chippy. This is the Notebook Check Review channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.